Bill Gates, the richest man in the world, the man behind Microsoft, is now calling for a global government, saying that the United Nations has failed and that, quote, we need a world government, he says, particularly to fight climate change. Yes, that's right. We need a global government to fight climate change. Bill Gates, of course, recently called for a digital currency. Yes, a cashless society system says it's just going to help the poor people in Africa. Uh, but Bitcoin will not do because he says that you need to be able to track the currency. Yes, that's right. We can't have an anonymous uh, digital currency. The government has to be able to track the transactions. I'm excited about how the cloud and new devices can help us communicate and collaborate in ways, he says. Oh, I just can't wait for that uh, Mark of the Beast to be implanted into people's brains. Remember a few years ago, or perhaps you don't if you're just sort of coming of age or if you've just sort of stumbled down this Orwellian rabbit hole, but at one point in the not-so-distant past, anybody who talked about the plan, the secret plan for a global government, was ridiculed and called a crazy conspiracy theorist. But now we have the richest man in America, uh, reportedly also the richest man in the world, calling for a global government. Oh, yes, yeah, crazy conspiracy theory, right? Bill Gates, of course, set aside a million dollars to uh, develop what are called galvanic bracelets for kids, hoping to force children in schools to wear this Orwellian tracking device to monitor how well they're engaged in the classroom. Yes, that's right. We just can't do that through test scores. Just, just can't do that through pop quizzes, through midterms, uh, through the grading from the teacher. You know, just paying attention to the students. No, we need a wearable bracelet now, apparently, to monitor the children, uh, to determine. Big Brother just loves them so much. He needs to monitor their vital signs. The next th phase is basically just going to be a, a, a bracelet on their head, a headband, to just read their brainwaves. It's just for their own good. I mean, we already have schools now forcing students to wear heart monitors. As I warned about years ago in my book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True, wearable tech is now being forced on people, and finally people are starting to realize that the government and that health insurance companies and employers uh, are considering and forcing people to wear these devices just to monitor their vital signs, just to track their health, just to, to monitor how much they're moving, just to monitor their caloric intake and their uh, activity. Yes, to monitor their metabolism. Uh, so now, out in the open, Bill Gates just calling for a world government. Yes, I mean, in my 2010 book, now five years old, The New World Order Facts and Fiction, it's a whole chapter on people, prominent people, just calling for a new world order. Yes, Barack Obama. Oh, yeah, I speak to you tonight as not as a, a candidate for president, but as a citizen, a proud citizen of the United States, a citizen of the world. I mean, Nancy Pelosi said that, uh, you know, quote, our forefathers envisioned a new America. Oh, yes, Nor Novus Ordo Seclorum, she actually said this. Uh, the vision has sustained us for more than 200 years, and it accounts for what's best in our great nation. Now it is our responsibility to carry forth that vision of a new America. I mean, George W. Bush's father, Bush 41, George H. W. Bush, back in 1991, said uh, that one of his objectives was to create a new world order. Of course, Henry Kissinger, after the economic class of two, uh, cla uh, collapse of 2008, gave an interview on CNBC saying that uh, Obama... Uh, should use this crisis, quote, really, a new world order can be created. I mean, Bill Clinton, Richard Nixon, Angela Merkel, Tony Blair, Gordon Brown, even the Pope John Paul II, Joe Biden, the buffoon vice president, all have called for a new world order. Isn't it interesting that such a thing was denied for years and years and years Oh, you're crazy if you think such things in existence or there's a plan being hatched behind the scenes for that. And now you're crazy if you're against it. Oh, that's a good thing. New World Order. Oh, you're against the New World Order? You're against the global government? Oh, you're just an old-fashioned Christian fundamentalist terrorist. We need, you know, need to take away your guns and uh, put a galvanic bracelet on your brain uh, just to monitor you in real time. Well, you don't have anything to hide, do you? 
oh no, I, just, I think he might be just a crazy Christian terrorist fighting against the New World Order. Uh, the Bill of Rights is just so old-fashioned. We don't need those anymore. Oh, the singularity, artificial, intelligent, Luciferian system which watches over us. You don't trust the New Lord? Oh, you're a suspect. 